Hello everybody, uh, give me a second, and we will be on our way. Uh, give me a second to get everything all finished up and in setting up. Speaking of which, I have a question for everyone who watches this video. Live stream, whatever you want to... Whatever you want... Okay, you guys can't hear me. Apparently, but you can still hear me. But... One thing I do have to ask, I have picked a new, okay, where is it, where is it, there we go, I picked a new setup for where, why am I looking over in the corner, I'm so used to having the camera over there, but no, I have a new setup, or not new setup, but more of just a different camera angle, so I'm curious, is it better here? Or should I try and have it somewhere over here, like I usually do? But every single time I do like this, you can only see the side profile. Would you rather have a full-on reaction like this, where it shows the full person? Which one do you guys want to have? That's up to you guys. Just let me know either, either now or let me know in the comments when I post this on YouTube. So that's up to you guys. Which one do you want to see more of? Do you want a front facing or a side view? Let me put my shit together. I will put my away stuff away. We can continue. Oh my knees. They told me working out would be amazing. They told me I'd get chicks. They were wrong. All they gave me was anime addiction, caffeine addiction, and protein addiction. <laughs> And lack of water. God damn it, I forgot to put away my phones. I'm going to be doing this stream from the front facing view. So that way you guys can see the full reaction rather than a side reaction. Because from what I've seen in previous videos, it does not look as good as thought. Any spiders on my wall? Where God if that's a fucking spider? Give me a second. Flashlight. Sometimes I see my flashlight. Think fast, chuckle nuts. God damn it! It is a spider. I need to clean my room more. Anyways. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna squish him. Give me a second. It's okay, guard. Oh, back, back, I say. You fucking kidding me. The one time I need you to work and you- Oh, there we go. Motherfucker! Why you no work? This don't work. I'll shove you on the battery charger and put it in you, in you. Don't take that out of context, folks. And it needs charging. Of course it does. It's always needing charging. I'm gonna beat off a spike. No, I'm not going to beat off a spider. 
I'm going to squish a spider. The difference. How? I have no idea. Oh yeah, that's right. It's called not jerking it off. Battery. Time to suck. Like as they said in sp oh. as they said in Spaceballs, suck, suck, suck. I'm gonna mute the mic so that way you guys don't ha get goddamn ears murdered. I'll try to remember to unmute. Did anybody join? No? Okay. Focus. Oh, I like that a lot better. It looks more clean. Okay. Let's go and destroy some monsters. Let's play. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I was planning on getting a, a microphone arm. That way I don't have to deal with this setup. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I don't have to deal with this setup. This big bulky setup. Okay. But yeah, it's like a microphone arm. To be honest, I'm actually liking this a lot more. But the thing is, it was always the setup, like... Should I put it over more like that? That way, kind of slightly up. Instead of an angled, because if I have it coming from this angle, it's a lot different. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I remember seeing a loot thing. There's going to be a mystery thing. Uh, Wait, oh, there we go. But yeah, it's gonna see. 
Bridge supply event stock up on loot. Shadow looms over Osterton. Your resistance encourages preparing supplies for what lies ahead while they try to find out more. Okay. From now on until May 5th, procedural mission will be active every single day and click below to see the schedule. Good luck. Okay, it did switch over. Cool. Okay, so today it's going to be the anomalous signal. Okay. What's the anomalous signal? Well, let's find out. Cool. With that in mind... Oh, speaking of which, it's going to be really warm in my room, so I'm going to turn on my fan. I can move that. Wait. For the one viewer that's in here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Why is my stuff slow? I'm mentally slow, but that's a different conversation. Alrighty, let's continue. Pistola. Shotgun. With shotgun in hand. Don't need the compressed air. Nope, that's not what I want. Got a flyer up above. Cool. Now that we dropped, I don't know how many pounds. Open schematics. Oh, nope, that's. Okay, I need to build more. Oh, there we go. Equipment. Grenade. Ooh, I'll definitely need that. Okay, consumables, equipment, field radio, gasoline, lockpick, radio, repair kit. There we go. Oh, no, I need... Wait, wait. Okay, it doubles in what it needs. Oh, they're playing... Cool. With that in mind, let's make some grenades. Compressed emergency flare, yes. Car EMP. Advanced. Ooh, advanced. I need that. Okay. Gasoline grenade. God damn it, I need to make more. There we go. Ammo boxes. And thus, I need more of those. Ammo boxes. Items crafting schematic that makes you deployable ammo packs and supplies you with and your team with extra ammo for your current equipped weapon. 
Okay. My big brain is... Wait. Oh, I need 160. Ooh, wait a minute. That's that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, I could just make a whole bunch of simple first aid to get up to that. Or I could make a whole bunch of grenades. Okay. How much do I have now for schematics? Ooh, 40. Yes. Wait, I can make advanced. Ooh, paramedic. And then I can get adrenaline shots. I can be smart again. Though it takes a lot to do that for my standards. Advanced. Da, 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 simple. I do a lot of simples. The thing is, I don't... Nope. I feel bad for whoever goes up against me. Oh man. Wait, what can else can I make on short amounts? Hmm. I could make gas, but I'm pretty sure I have more than enough. Does it show? But yeah, for whoever's here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm good. <gasps> hey, what's up, Shoyo? <sighs> Shoyo, I just started my stream. <sighs> Fine. Eh, I guess it's gonna be a late stream. Let me. All that, all that time getting it. <laughs> okay. Next, after that, I can do that. But since I'm already here. Okay. Show you, I got you. I'll give me a second, I'll be there in a bit. Okay. Okay. Um, I believe it's five. Yes. There we go. Yeah, for those who join, I will be right back. You don't <laughs> I already brushed my teeth and taken a shower, okay? I don't need a gift. You can tell me later, okay? I'll be there in a bit. Show you, I already... I already got food and all that. I'm not hungry. <laughs>
Okay, I have returned. Uh, sorry about that. For those who joined while I was gone, I am sorry for the absence, and I'm sorry for being such or so late. Let's continue on before we get any more distractions. I will be doing an extra hour. Consi actually, no, I don't know. Depending on how things go. I might be going over on what I have. But anyways, how, ma how many grenades did I make? Oh no, how many grenades? <gasps> oh, that's why I can't run. I made a hundred and something grenades. They're going to have a heck of a time. Okay, I don't need that many grenades. Let's transfer half of them. Nope, I, apparently I can't transfer half. I need more. There we go. 26. I think that's more than enough. Okay. With that in mind... An Ooh, anomalous signal. Where's the anomalous signal? <laughs> ah! Wait, nope. Where's it? Where's... Where's... Locations. Missions. Okay, it's down there. Okay. Let's fast travel down there to deal with the anomalous. Do, 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 do. Okay. Right there. Okay, let's go. I'm not taking a bike because it's going to be a waste of time. This game would be really cool, though, as I said back when I, like, first few episodes... That's right, I switched it over to... Oh... Like this, attachments, vision, that. Now with that... Is that thing? Crouch? Because I don't know what it is. The anomalous signal is one of those guys. Interesting. Okay. Shit. Shit.
Okay, with that in mind, let's switch over to the other guy. Stop shooting at me, you bitch. Take that. Next thing we do. Take all your stuff. For some reason, you don't work. Perfect. What? What? Oh, hell yeah. Does it just go away once I'm done with it, or what? Okay. That was a pretty quick and easy mission. Burp. Excuse me. But, with that in mind, we shall go on to the next mission. Place the waypoint here. Okay. The nearest one would be here. Fast travel there. Drop off our stuff that we had. can't store it? Damn it. Wait, do I have a recycling station? Nope, I don't. I'm gonna use that more often. Now that I have more grenades... Who saw me? Who saw me? Who snitched? You snitched. You dicks. I have to go that way anyways. Okay, let's reload. I got flown. Yeah, to be honest, I like this a lot better. Okay, there's one.
God damn. There's one. Oh, there's like one. Count with me on how many pro. Oh! Alright, we killed one, two, three problems. Can you tell me which one it was the long range? Well, it wasn't these three. Is it him? Correct. Hey Dave, what is? <laughs> ah! You scare me. I hit him with grenade. But not much, man. Come on, shoot through this. Shoot through this, buddy. Come on. You don't want to shoot through this? Too bad. I'm going to shoot through you then. But I've been doing good. Uh, I did a pretty good workout today. I'm happy with that. My friend's scared that I might become a gym rat. That's another thing. Another thing you might have noticed is the fact that I've changed the angle of the camera. Anything in here? Yeah, I'm start. I like this angle a lot better because then after that you won't have to do a side view. I'm not doing a goddamn prison thing. There we go. Oh no! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! I'm on fire! But today was a good day. No, I don't get to. No, oh, damn. Oh well. What is a hum? I was gonna say, what is a Humvee doing here? No, that's a tank. That is true. I have to turn my head towards my other monitor. Plus the background's a lot better too, because then you don't have to look at that angle over there. You just have a full facing view this way. I was gonna say, why is it, what is that buzzing? Look everywhere, put them down. Yeah, you came at a good time because I just got back from dropping my friend off. Or not off from work, but dropping her from home. No, I didn't get started on that because they distracted me. How was your day though, Dave? Huh? Also, speaking of which, how is the audio doing? I'm not sure if it's like too loud, too quiet. What's the situation? Sorry, how was your day? Sorry, proper English. <laughs> I mean, everyone has like those really hard days, but then there's people who have those easy days. I mean, it's great to hear that he had a pretty good day, so. I was already here. Why am I here again? Oh, they're making me do this mission again. I did this last stream. Turn that back on. Oop. Anything big go on, or was it just a regular day? Oh, I see. Oh, one last excursion. Okay, there was the gun. Ooh, a hatchet. I could use that. Not really against those guys. Ooh, a drone shot. Okay. 
Seriously? What was your comment? Or at least, what was it about? Damn, I'm overweight. Feels like a personal problem. Hey, a compliment is a compliment. I will give you that. It don't matter what the compliment is, it's a compliment. And that's a win in anybody's book, especially for guys like... So... I saw that light, what was that? But no, that's really good to hear, man. Yeah. I found my hunter rifle, it got upgraded. I can't say much though, because from my perspective. Wait, wait. I'm glad to hear that you got that compliment, man. I am I am really glad that you got that compliment. Most of the time when people say oh see. I don't blame you. I actually got to sleep sleep in today. I do have to say that I got to sleep in, and knowing my dumbass, I'm probably gonna be asleep till like noon again tomorrow. <laughs> Sometimes it's even difficult to even process a day. I understand that. I got all purples. I got all purple weapons. Ye. Oh. Okay, that one has a recycling thing. So, I'll make my way to there. Make it there, yeah. Okay, good. Because I've been dealing with that, and it's been a pain. I don't know how to deal with it. Okay. Here's one. Oh, he fires his... He fires missiles. I also changed my character up too. What are you gonna do about it, huh? What are you gonna do about it? That's what you're gonna do. You're gonna shoot at me? That's rude. Oh. Dave, do you see this? I'm at one health. One health. I'm not here. I'm not here. Oh. Yeah, 
down. For my case, I just want to make sure I have good audio because I don't want to have to deal with it like... Ooh! Hey, stop! Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to call me. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to put your weapon down. Put it down. Yeah, I will not disagree with that. That is true. Plus you also, since you're a streamer, sometimes you have to be open to criticism, depending on what that criticism is, but like everything has got its limits. You just gotta know what criticism to take and what criticism to use as information for future streams. I was gonna say, if you wanna see some really dumb shit, uh, go and check out early, like in, in the very beginning of the stream, there's like dumb shit to clip and I'm gonna make sure I clip the beginning of that before I head to bed. Exactly. That is very true. Wait, wait, did, was I have have I seen this camp? No I haven't. I'm checking out this camp. I might be overweight. And I can't run. Oh, Soviet recon camp. Ooh. Cool. That is true. That's why you gotta be open to criticism. Rest in peace, soldier. Thank you for service. Binoculars. What we got here? Assault rifle and suppressor. Those are bitches. That is not RPG. That is tank tip. When she says just the tip, you just hand her a goddamn tank muzzle. I mean, when I first started out, most of the time I was just focusing on the streaming part because nobody joined my streams. And if it was, it was like a Twitch bot. That's where I got my Alien Isolation clips and my uh, Subnautica clips. That does not look comfortable, but I want to sleep on one of these. No, screw it. Night night, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Fuck you, I'm going to bed. Yeah. I could see how that is. That's why I'm just asking, considering, like, oh, how is the audio? It's like, there's a point, like, there's different ways of answering and tones of answering. I could see why they taught, like, did all. Did, did all. Did, did all. God damn. I cannot speak. <laughs> but no, it's. Yeah, there's some comments, it's like the r slash roast me kind of thing. Like, I'd be willing to do that now. Like, back then, I was like, oh, I should do it. But knowing my dumbass, I'd probably get hurt, like, mentally hurt. And I'd be more hidden within myself now. But now, I'm just like, you have to be immature enough to take the hate. Yeah, I think that's freaking hilarious. Have you seen the videos of uh, like t a guy during his stream, like just playing Minecraft and all, and she puts into like a super chat and everything. She pays a dollar just to make sure that he sees that uh, comment. And it's just like, I mean, I'm making money off of you considering the fact that you're wasting your money on me saying that I should do my homework. Like, there's a, I believe there's a clip or something like that where a teacher just gets roasted and completely destroyed. 
from that. It was my point of view. It was freaking hilarious. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's over there. Never mind. It where's okay. It's over here. Nope, it's not over here. Ooh. Shotgun choke. I already got one. It's a gold. Okay. Cycle that. Cycle that. Cycle that. Cycle that. Cycle that. I mean, that's one way to win. I know. It's like, hey, free money's free money. I don't care who it's from. It's money. Okay? It'll make me pay my bills. Okay, where's the storage? And that's upstairs. jacket damn it I can't move Hey, you gotta remember, you gotta say knock on wood, and you gotta knock on the wood. Joke's on you. My desk is made out of wood. You thought I was gonna do something else. I will not disagree with that. That's why I made a Discord server for those who want to uh, spread content or like uh, content ideas or anything like that. Like I'm, if they want to add ideas to anything, they just have to let me know. And so far, they've given me a lot of good ideas, such as like doing Subnautica. Uh, Bending the Ink Machine is going to be the next series I do after Hello Neighbor. A finale. Okay, I thought I heard footsteps like on my left and everything. That scared me for a second, but no, a FNAF stream would be good, but the thing is, I'd probably be doing, like, episode. I don't know how to do that, to be honest. I don't know whether to do, like, YouTube episode, like, episodes, like, Markiplier kind of thing, but, or do, uh, like, a full-on live stream, because I don't know which one would give me more views, because FNAF right now is still currently in a decent point of, like, search stuff. So I don't know if I should do that and then post it onto YouTube, but that all depends. I could just make it into like segments, like each night is in a certain episode, depending on how long that certain part is. That is true. But it's all different reactions, but like similar, but completely different reactions. Because you can have someone have the same reaction of being, oh my god, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Or you can have uh, something along the lines of, 
oh my god, this, this, and this. It's like, okay, come on, come on. It's like how Markiplier did it. Like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, everyone who did it. That is true. That could be very true. I could post the actual live stream itself to what the game was and all that stuff. And then post in like highlights of that live stream. But then by that time, hopefully, I have people who want to watch the streams. I mean, to be honest, it is a good idea. I will not deny that. Oh, I got another shotgun. They're both purple. Wait. Okay, they don't do... Wait. Hmm. Interesting. But no, like, the idea you gave off was a really good one. Ugh. But all I have to do now... Trust me, it is a long process. I've been doing this for maybe around six months, maybe a little shorter than that. And even then, it's still been very hectic. Because when I first started streaming, it, the first game I believe I did live streams on was Alien Isolation. I didn't have the audio right. No one joined long enough to let me, or I didn't notice until very late. And it just... It was definitely a too far, too late type thing. That really dis made me disappointed in myself. So it's like, oh, god damn it, I could have done this, I could have done this. And it's like a shoulda, coulda, woulda kind of situation. Yeah, I can't say much. Mine's not much better. Yeah, it's like you say, okay, in this video, we're going to do this. In this video, we're going to do this. It, it's a lot more repetitive, and it's just an annoyance sometimes. That's why I usually try to just do live streams when it comes to longer games and I just post the long video onto YouTube. But the thing is the live streams don't always make it easy to have people just watch right through them. Uh, FNAF, depending on how you do it, because if you do it like ev like depending on how difficult it is for to progress through the nights, you could do like oh one night this video the second, like, trying to get through the second night can be part of that first video. If you don't make it through, like, on the first couple tries, you go to the next video, then you do so on and so forth. Then you do the difficulty ones. You can do, like, a live stream on that if needed, all that. Yeah, I, I've seen people play it, but I've never played it myself. When I first saw it, I was in elementary school, if that shows how long that game has been out since the first game. That game has been out since I was in elementary school. And my first thought was every single time I look at the, you know, the first animatronic, Bonnie, you see him at the door. I thought he was a gorilla. Based on the way that thing, the way it's shaped. Yes, elementary school. Grade school. What, the terminology of using elementary school? <laughs> yeah, I was in elementary school when it first came out, and holy crap, everyone was trying to get on it, or it wasn't as big. I was hooked on it. It was right up there with Alien Isolation, all that stuff. That's also considering I was watching a lot of Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, and, it, and all of them end their early days. 
So they are, were a big inspiration of me wanting to become a content creator. And now that I finally have a setup, I can actually make content. And it's, it makes me really happy on that aspect. Yeah, I can't... Yeah. I probably would have been one of those kids right near you. Because there was, like, uh, guys over in... Like, I was in, like, sec... No, I think I was in, like, second or third grade when it came out. And there was like fifth graders, sixth graders with phones or something like that with an iPhone or I or something like that. And they'd be playing mine or not Minecraft, but be playing uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. And that would be like, oh, my God, what, that is so cool. Like in the mornings, I always walked around the school and everything. And it could have been me. You never know. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, though. When I see a cool game and all that, now that I have the money, I have adult money now. I have the money to purchase the game myself and play it myself now. I don't have to say, oh, can I, like, can I try after you're done? I don't have to be that kid. That, that depends. Did you go to a school that is now closed down? The school itself was... I don't know as like I see I don't think I knew a Smith in elementary school I think that was like middle school when I because I went to school over in my elementary school wise I went to um, uh, Lincoln Elementary does that ring a bell Lincoln Elementary Because more than likely we didn't go to the same school. Because you're in a time zone ahead of me. Yeah. But no, I would have been... Like, there's some kids that were over in older grades and everything that were had something to access that. And I was definitely one of those kids who definitely... Oh my gosh, that is so cool. They show me and everything. And at least back then, some people had courtesy. But I, I can't say much myself, but... <laughs> me saying that'd be me being a hypocrite but yeah that's the thing though yeah oh man it just reminds me of just childhood it's nostalgic that's why i started playing plants vs zombies because i really liked doing because i see that people like oh my gosh nostalgic game i want to play like Yeah, but the thing is, the new FNAF kids is like, oh my gosh, this is so scary. Yeah, they haven't seen FNAF 4. Like, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I had nightmares about it, but it was an addiction. It was like an addiction. It's like, oh my god, it scares me so much. But it, I'm so addicted to the concept of what Five Nights at Freddy's was. It was amazing in my point of view. Like, I had nightmares, all that stuff. Oh, the Five Nights at Freddy's VHS tapes? I might do a, a reaction. Oh, I've, a lot of people have probably done reactions of the Five Nights at Freddy's VHS tapes. But hey, content is content. You gotta admit that. <laughs> but. But no, I've seen like clips of the VHS tapes and oh my god. It looks so cool. It's like, you may have seen horror before. But this is nothing compared to what you're about to see. I mean, that's the thing, though. I've already seen part of it, so my reaction, complete reaction wouldn't be as good. It wouldn't be as unique. But it'd be probably very similar. Plus, the fan games have been freaking hilarious, depending on who, what games, and all that. Like, Five Nights at Candies. Uh, well, Five Nights at Candies being a big one. Uh, There's a few other ones. I can't remember the others. Uh, oh yeah, Joy of Creation, which I do plan on playing. 
the joy of creation i plan on playing that game because holy crap that game looks so fun because i also have the other game which is uh what was it not animatronics um it could have been animatronic i'm not sure but it's like police pro point of view there's Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I'm I'm talking about like the ones where it's like, oh, the hidden secrets behind the stuff suits and all that. But no, I'd be doing all the VHS tapes. Like, oh, reaction to this one and this one. It'd be awesome. Like, I would do that hell of a much more. But the thing is, it's down to the editing part. That's the other thing. That's why I want to try to gain views. <laughs> but yeah, it just. I mean, if you want to go check it out and all that, but that's up to you. I just posted a couple of videos today, or yesterday, I think. But enough of me talking on. Let's get shit done. Because <laughs> I've already been, actually, half of that was me being gone for picking up my friend. Okay, let's put this back. But out of curiosity, Dave, uh, one, like, just changing subject from games to TV shows. Uh, well, have you heard of a show called DuckTales? Because that in itself was classic. Not the new DuckTales, the original DuckTales. Because that was hell of a show. Because right now I have currently have that stuck in my head right now. Space cars, lasers, airplanes, it's a duck blur, might solve a mystery, all rewrite history, duck tales, Woo. God damn it, <laughs> that high note was bad. <laughs> but who is your favorite? Who is your favorite character out of the entire thing? Me was like my favorite character out of the entire TV show was Launchpad. Rescue Rangers, that one's a good one. Another one that I remember watching, but that's the thing though. I was able to watch it with my dad. He's the one who exposed me to that. Uh cuz you got stuff like He-Man, She-Ra, uh ThunderCats. You got all sorts of stuff. Okay, he's far away. But no, he's like, you got so many things. Yeah, Launchpad was my freaking favorite. He was the lovable idiot. That's why I loved him. Restore power. Okay, cool. I got that done. Let's track that. Okay, and we'll go over here. Right, like, all the TV shows back then, like, early 2000s, I... Uh, Let's see what else it's like early 2000s late 90s tv shows even 80s tv shows holy crap were enjoyable seriously damn i missed out because i went when during my 18th birthday oh no my not my 18th my 17th birthday my 17th birthday present my dad gave me was me him taking me to Disneyland. I made the mistake. It was like, oh my goodness. Oh god. Fuck off, 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 fuck off. Fuck off, robot. No, 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 no. But no, it's like, launch pad, like Disneyland. It's like, oh my gosh, Disneyland is like the most amazing place you could go to. Yeah, when you're like a younger age, but even then... Like, when I was there, it was like, oh my god, look at this. No, look at this. Look at this. Like, it was amazing. I will admit that. But there was, like, times where I watched... Can you stop following robots? Yeah, yeah. I went to Disneyland, not Disney World. 
I wish I went to Disney World, but Disneyland was the one that was closer. Plus, the entire trip was... Oh! Get inside, get inside, get inside! I'm using an adrenaline shot. I don't care. Sue me. Yeah. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Yay! I got in! Eh. Nice. God damn it, no power. But no, Disneyland was fun. I made the mistake. It's like, oh my goodness, I want to go on this ride. Yeah, that, that was the remodeled uh, thing that was now called the Guardians of the Galaxy Great Escape kind of thing. And that was the remodeled... Uh, uh, Tower of Terror. And I made the mistake. It's like, oh, I want to go on that. And my dad took me. It was fine. The thing is, what scared me was the fact that it's like, I didn't realize what it was. It's like, oh my goodness, it's going to be a fun roller coaster. But then after that... Okay, where is he? No, he's not down here. But no, it's like, I go onto that ride... And the next thing I know, it's I. It opens the doors and everything. It's not a ride. It's not a roller coaster or anything like that. Yeah, if you saw the pictures and all that, you would just see me freaking. Like I'd be shaking, and I, that's the thing though. It was so bad. I was so scared that I had my eyes closed. I don't like the feeling of weightlessness. Just a little background information. I don't like weightlessness. This is why I don't. I'd go to space, but I don't want to go to space. That's how bad, that's what the situation is. Ow, my foot, I will slam my foot into the chair. But no, as soon as I got onto that, why, why is my arm twitching? What the hell? But no, as soon as I got onto the ride and everything, it's like, oh no, this is not gonna go well. Yeah, one thing that really, scared the hell out of me was the reaction of them saying it's like they get to the top and everything they launch you to the freaking top they open up the doors <laughs> that sounds about right but yeah no problem um actually did you know that they pull you down faster than the speed of gravity And did you know that the amount of nerd things that I know, you can suck my magnum dong? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I have regrets, but no regrets at the same time. I am happy for who I am. Have you heard of the ancient tribe of Sugandis? Because if you have, you can Sugandis nuts. <laughs> <gasps> they broke it. Oh, I guess not.
Damn. The Skvadin generator note. Note says, the generator broke again. I'm off to the auxiliary power room to turn on the backup diesel generator. Don't touch anything until I'm back on. God damn it. <laughs> Shush, I'm trying... It's like that one meme, it's like, Silence, wench! I don't wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. The rocket animatronic. Which one? The one that had the one wheel underneath the magnetic powered one? Because if you were talking about that one, yeah, that one was really cool. It's a really cool design. Oh yeah, the Rocket Raccoon animatronic, that one was cool. Oh. Time to switch over. Okay, where'd you go, buddy? Where'd you go? Oh, there's the big boy. Those two big boys. Personally, I think Splash Mountain was my favorite because it reminded me, I mean, before they remodeled. This was before they remodeled Splash Mountain. I had got there before they closed that down or remodeled because of racial things. Even though the ride itself, like, yeah, I guess it is based off of like a racial terms and all that racist terms. But if you saw the actual show in the movie itself, like that thing was not racist at all. It was just terminology that was the racist part. Yeah. That was the thing, though. I could take Splash Mountain and everything. The weightlessness, the, the, the simple weightlessness and all that. And, like, all that. That was fun. I will not deny that. That was the best part about the entire trip. I had gone on that thing at least five, six times. Just, like, if you ask my dad, he would say the same thing. We went on that ride a lot. And there was a couple times, like... I think the last time we went on that ride before we had went out from that. Let's see, come on, come on, show yourself, buddy. And right, turn. There we go. Now let me close that door real quick. That way I can speak. Like I, like, have you seen the new animatronics they're putting in? Because it's a uh, Princess and the Frog base now. Ha! I got you. Oh shit. Hopefully it threw. Did I do it? Aha, I did do it. Kiss my ass. He's still moving. Sir, stop resisting! Yeah, especially Mama Odie. Like, I'm not judging the fact that, like, oh, the remodel's gonna be terrible. I've seen the animatron- or, like, some of the animatronics that have been posted on, like, TikTok and everything. Like, the- the voice actress for Mama Odie saw the animatronic for Mama Odie, and oh my god, it was, like, almost lifelike. Like, someone was in the animatronic itself, moving it and everything. It was- it was very smooth. It was, like, it was awesome. Like, Princess of the Frog, I will not deny. Great movie. My favorite actor, though, is the villain, because he, he's also, yeah. Like, Mama Odie, ev like, all the classics, all of them are my favorite, and still are. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, Mr. Flyer. I'm, I'm gonna just close this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just close this. Like, there's decisions that Disney has made that I am not happy about. 
the hell is that? What, is that knives? Yeah, that's cutlery. Yeah, this was a kitchen. I'm in the kitchen making myself a sandwich. Who put cigarettes in the goddamn dish? Eh, there's a lot of decisions that Disney has made that aren't my favorite, to put simply. Like, some of the most recent movies that they've put out, there's only a few of them that I like. Like, their choice for Kung Fu Panda and everything. Well, not... I don't know what the hate was. I guess it's because of the actress or something like that. Like, I... Like, just... To put simply, if you're going to make a movie, at least have a good story. That's all I have to say. Yeah. There's been, like, very few successful uh, Disney movies lately. Even, like, for example, the... And push the big red button. But no, it's... Yeah, that's the thing. It may not be Disney, but it is still controlled by Disney. Disney controls a lot of stuff. It may be under different branding and everything, but there's a lot that is controlled by Disney. Like, Disney basically controls a, like almost all the cartoons that we watch. It all is controlled by that. Like, I get it, it's Pixar, but then you got, like, very good successes that have been put out by other companies that are still under the supervision, or not supervision, but under the ownership of Disney. Like, for example, one of them that was a good story. <laughs> Which one was it? Like, Kung Fu... Which one was it? Oh, it was DreamWorks. It was DreamWorks. Okay. I thought DreamWorks was under its own... Like, it's it's under its own little... Basically, Disney just said, nah, go have your little playpen. Here you go. Have fun. Yeah, it may not be Disney. It's <laughs> the choices in some of the movies that DreamWorks has made have made it, like, amazing. It's like, oh, it's, it's a lot of adult jokes, but it's stuff that wouldn't be noticed by kids. That's one of the best parts. It's like very simple little joke here, adult joke there. Yeah. Shrek being one of them. Have you seen the original, like what the original idea of Shrek was going to be? Like that thing looked weird and w just weird looking. It looked like old TV shows or something like that. Old animated shows and everything when they made it like 3D and everything. Open thine doors. Like opening thine legs. Oh, I missed one. Don't think you're gonna get away from me, you little shit. Mom. Honey, I'm home. Schematic. Wait, there's schematics here? Get a witch. Oh, yeah. I will not do... Yeah. I prefer DreamWorks current... Yeah, currently, because they have not disappointed with what they've shown. While Disney, on the other hand, has been quite the opposite. Hmm. What do I have on there right now? Recoil reduction. That doesn't do much for me. I was going to say Disney in itself needs a full-on like 
a full-on change. First aid kit. Let's make a couple of those. First aid kits. Oh, I need one more. Complete a base assault by using only handguns. Yeah, no. No, I refuse to do that. Five items of clothing. Oh, frick. Like, Disney in itself needs a complete reboot. With the way it's going right now, Disney's gonna go straight into the hole. And not in the good way. Oh, Disney was like top tier because there's like uh, people like music groups that have said like, oh, Disney in the golden age, golden age, like golden age, this age and all that stuff. That is true. Like Briar Rabbit, Br'er Fox, all that stuff. Yeah, that was all racial terms. Like the, there's a lot of terms that have been used in that show. That was a term during that time as a racial slur. That's why Disney's trying to get rid of their past and everything because they're so disappointed in it. It's like you've made the movie, so what? You've made the movie. You can't change that. That will not change history. It don't matter. You made the movie. You got to deal with the consequences. It don't matter whether or not the future is shown. Wait, which one are they? Which one are they getting rid of? Like if they are, wait, are they getting rid of Space Mountain? Are, is that the one they are getting rid of or something? Dinosaur. I don't remember that one. Okay, good, good. I was gonna say, me and my dad went on Space Mountain. We don't know how it happened, but we had to go to the nurse afterwards because it wasn't anything severe. It was more the fact that, like, I think it was like part of the ride, the handles that he was holding on had like a piece that was like sticking up a bit and it got him underneath his finger and it just started bleeding a bit. Like, It's been a while, so I would have to go through stuff to do that. Excuse me. What would velocity increase do? Ammo capacity? Capist. Wait, do I have the capist? No, I have the clock. Better there. 
Oh, I don't deny that. That there's a lot of stuff. Wait. Oh no, you're gonna it's gonna be a while before they really care about the actual feelings of their viewers. Because a lot of the stuff they've shown have freaking decreased their profits by, I don't know, astounding amounts. Because currently all Disney thinks about, or the Disney producers and all that stuff care about is money. There's been a few that actually care about it, but then get twisted from uh, corporate. Yeah, but that's the thing, though. They keep on reporting, saying it's like, oh, it's racist. We have to get rid of racist stuff in our parks. Like, okay. you. There's a lot of things that are used as terms. Like, there's a lot of terms out there, a lot of languages out there. You can't necessarily c protect us from all of the... I've... Uh, well... I don't know. Um, that I have no idea. I don't know much about the terminal. This is Olof Tore 2. We still have a broken car by the Östertörn Bridge and queue at the standstill. Trying to get people to return to their evacuation sites. Over. Hermelinen, Hermelinen, we have incoming fire from the south. Confirmed visual, now it's... it's... Oh my god. What the f... Who's the Bloomberg? Position right! ACDP grenade! Taking cover in the forest near the south end of the bridge. That I don't We're know how to tell you. Fire. Multiple... Confirm, Squadron. We have incoming fire at the eastern gate. We are returning fire. Please advise our readiness is inadequate. Most of the battalion has yet to report in. We now have hostiles from the south range as well. Identification unknown. It's like some kind of unmanned machine combatants. They have reached the radio mast. We can't hold them off. That I wouldn't disagree with, because Splash Mountain has been there for I don't know how many years. It wasn't well kept up, the water in there. People were trying to drink the water that Splash Mountain had. Like, even though they say, oh, keep yourself inside the ride. Like, that stuff has chlorine in it. You wouldn't want to put yourself in chlorine. Like, it's not, it may be, it may not be a pool, but does not mean you have the reason. Oh, it's a flyer. I have to fly to flyer. Lovely. Uh... That is true. Japan is a lot more well known to keeping stuff maintained, and if they needs to be come down, they give a good reason to do that. I mean, not a lot of people, or especially Disneyland, it's like, oh, it's getting old. We should get rid of it. Like, you wouldn't say that about some people, would you? The bridge. Holy crap. I have to go all the way. I was just over there. <laughs> okay. The next spot we go to is here. Wait. Okay, that's there. That's there. That's there. Okay, that's there. That's down. Here's up. Yeah, like... There's a big problem in just, like, neglecting your the rides they show. And it pisses a lot of people off. Especially with people who have, like, good memories of that area. It's like, I don't blame you, but it's like, oh, it, we gotta take it down because it's, uh... It's racist, because we are too lazy to say that we don't want to take care of the rides we have. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. I mean, you gotta make propaganda somehow. Okay, the next spot we go to is over here. Wait. More than likely, I mean, it probably was one of the reasons, is like, oh my goodness, is this. But that's the thing, though. Like, I'm saying with, like, people, the stuff they say now. Yeah. But no, Splash Mountain in itself was definitely run down. But it was fun. But even now, with the stuff they try to put out now, they're trying to just put out just as many movies as possible to like, get the highest amount of success. I mean, I can't say much, considering the fact I just put out content that I have. But it's not quality. I'm putting out quantity over quality to put myself out there. But for my case, my excuse is the fact that I am just starting up. Disney does not have an excuse to do such things. Oh shit. Run. Just 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 run. Oh, hey. Gimme. I mean, it could be for a completely different reason. I mean, Titans must fall at some point. Just take most uh, Greek myths and everything. They get overturned by a small... Uh, sorry, a small threat. Like, for example, like Kratos took down freaking Zeus, a god. He became a god himself to kill another god. Oh, I hope so too, because then I'd bring. I mean, that's the thing, though. There's not much. There's not. Let's see. Holy crap. I am stuttering. I am stuttering. Ugh. Maybe it's because I'm just too tired. I'll blame it on that. <laughs> but no, I'd hope so. But the thing is, I think the one thing that they are doing is just redoing it. Like, oh, we haven't done. We have done this idea, but have we done it live action? that kind of situation because if they got that kind of situation on their hands it's a lot more easier to blame it on something else plus the redoing of stuff like for example i ah, see not yeah like dreamworks they put out like original ideas and everything but it's like a, a, an adding to the universe itself That is true, but that's also considering they put a lot of effort into that. Yeah, the Queen of Hearts, though. Everything's all in her head. And I don't mean that in a joking way. There's Her head's so big, it looks like everything could fit inside her head. That's how, that's how big her head looks. Like... People have heard of breast reductions, lip injections, and all that kind of stuff. But have you ever heard of head uh, reduction? Even though that term sounds like something else. <laughs> like, there's been a few good live actions, in my opinion. But that's also considering uh, when I start the first... Let's see, what was the first live action I ever watched? I think it might have been, like, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, Rick. They, they could have gone so many places with, like, live-action stuff. 
or just like just in general they could have gone in different directions and actually had the time took the time to do an actual full-on story instead of just spewing complete nonsense that seemed like it came from chat gbt i mean that's what they're currently trying to do is uh pay less people What are you? What are you? Who is you? Who is you and what do you want? I see a blinking red light. Usually that's a bad sign. Oh, frick. I was going to say, if you want to have, like, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, uh, like a chat between both of us and everything. We just call, talk back and forth, like, have a discussions on what our point of view is on that. Be kind of like... Be kind of like that, yes. What are you doing? What is a dead tick doing? It's a babushka. Oh yeah. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> But yeah, that was the word I was looking for. It was a uh, collaboration. My god, it's a nash. Oh, jeez. Like, the amount of uh, live action stuff would be pretty good. You just gotta make sure you choose, like, a, a small... Not a small amount, but you just gotta choose specific ones that would seem like it would cause a discussion between anybody. Hey, I can't say much either. <laughs> the Little Mermaid. That one was kind of odd. Especially with the conspiracy theory going on about that too. Was the fact that they're replacing all the gingers with people who are black. It's like... Very... Yeah. Oh frick. The new Little Mermaid. The live action Little Mermaid. It's like, there, I'm pretty sure there's already been a live-action Little Mermaid, plus Little Mermaid in itself. It's like, I get it. You're done with the series in itself being animated. But, it's like, oh, but have you thought of doing live-action? It's like, okay, who's going to be the star of it? Oh, some, some actress. Like, I have no, I have no problem with the actress or anything like that. I have no problem with, like, but there's like people out there who have just been complete assholes to stories or anything like that. Like for example, Snow White, the new the Snow White that's been getting a lot of controversy. Like even that has been getting a lot. Oh, maybe maybe I should go down the hill before I jump off. Hey, leave me out of this. I don't want to be a part of your problems. Hey, you watching porn up here? 128,000 RAM system, 9113, 8 base bytes free ready. Uh. T. O. R. N. Where's the dot? Oh, there's the dot. And enter. <laughs> I think it's stupid that the... Oh. There you go. You can't use the save... Oh, wait. What was it called? A hard drive. Or a hard disk. I'm probably naming that wrong completely. But, hey. Oh, well. Yes, a floppy disk. Sorry. <laughs> I never had to use one, so my terminology is most of the time incorrect. God damn it. I need to get closer.
Yeah, that's the thing though. Like everyone's been giving like Gen Z shit about. It. It's like, oh, you guys don't know what a floppy disk is. It's like we never had the need to know what it is. Like you can tell us what a floppy disk is all you want. Doesn't mean we'll know what it is automatically. Speaking of which, where is it? Where is the small can? Damn it! Wait, I'm curious. Is there an? Oh goddamn it! I don't have my phone. A uh, question: Were you born after 1997? Or were you born in like 96? Because you'd be at the end of being a millennial. Oh, I know what a VHS tape is. Most of the movies I had were VHS tape before my dad bought like a uh, Blu-ray uh, player. Before he bought that, we had a VHS player and everything. Big old speakers, boombox speakers and everything. But the thing is, the sound wasn't the best. <laughs> that yeah i will not disagree with that like there's some people born in gen z that are like more linguistic with the people in gen alpha like with all that stuff there's more people that have more of the language of people born in gen alpha than they do in gen z because people who are born early or mid point of yeah exactly and the thing is one thing i've come to learn i'm not sure if this is like a lot of people who started and like phones started to get big and bigger uh it's like younger gen z had ipad but older gen z wished they had the ipad to play on to play minecraft or play five nights at freddy's watch markiplier all that stuff that's what it was that's also considering uh, my grandparents, they, ha she, my grandma, she had a computer and everything. I played on that. She had a whole bunch of games that she had pre-downloaded on that. And she would, me and her would play zomb Plants vs. Zombies, all that stuff. And oh my goodness, that, that game, that game and it's, it was that game plus, uh, what's the other one? Um. Uh, yeah i will not disagree with you like ipad's like oh my god ipad's the worst and all that it's like I, it don't matter as long as i have something to watch videos on i have no problem that's also considering i got introduced and had the talk early on so it's more down to the fact that it's just i have questionable things or questionable humor at least it's also considering my sense of humor is pretty bad that is true. It's like early internet was freaking. Oh no, we got rollers. We got them rollers. Where'd he go? Right there. They see me rolling. They hey. Oh! You don't see me, boy. You don't see me. Nope. Oh, there's multiplying. You can't attack me if I'm in here. Ha, you saw it. Ha, you saw it. Exactly. Like, People say, oh my goodness, like even for nowadays, like there's some people saying, oh, you could, you should have done this instead of doing this. It's like, ow. Stop shooting me, ow. 
Oh, frick, Annoying Orange. Goddamn classic. That's the thing, though. Annoying Orange was our brain rot, but nowadays, like, the skibbity toilet and all that stuff, I, that hurt me saying that. That that hurt me saying that. Like, that was... That's nowadays Annoying Orange. <laughs> I was going to say, out of curiosity, does Mad sound familiar? Because have you heard of Mad Magazine? Do you remember the TV show? If you remember Mad Magazine. God, like my grandma, like I saw Mad Magazine or the TV show that it had. For a while, my grandma questioned my choices in TV shows <laughs> that day. <laughs> it's like, you shouldn't be watching that. That seems a little inappropriate for kids your age. I was like five, six at the eight time. It's like, oh, it's fine. I've seen worse. It's also considering my family's background. Like, you guys shouldn't be exposed to that. Oh, Uncle Grandpa, still a classic. Okay, that's not me. <laughs> that ain't me, I'm sorry. Oh, frick. Uncle Grandpa? No. There's a difference between having the good things and the bad things. Don't. Oh, frick. I never watched Teletubbies. Uh, my TV shows when I was like six or younger was Dora the Explorer, Di Go Diego Go, uh, Scooby Doo. I don't like this. I don't like the fact that like the closer I get to. Wait, is there an Easter egg to? Um. Is there a reason why the lanterns blew out? Um, Little Einsteins? I didn't watch that. I didn't watch that like as much as my sister did. She was the one, she was born in 2013 and she watched that constantly. It got to a point where it was annoying. Why is the light blue? Oh no. Hello? Of course it's a cult. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just stay on the side over here. They're in the big blue house. Yeah. I am concerned. Hello? Ash of the Flesh. World Tour, 1989. Don't like this. I don't like... Hello? Who's out there? I have a gun. Okay. I have a shotgun. I'm not afraid to use it. If you come near me, I'm gonna kick your ass. So do it at your own discretion. Ooh, it's a hammer. Oh shit. 
No, I'm very You got me interested now. Maybe this is why white people die in horror movies. God damn it. I'm fast travel. I got a adventure. Stop your nonsense. And now I'm overweight. It's all the way over there. Hey, what? Welcome back. God damn it, I blanked out. What were we talking about again? Oh yeah, that's right. Do you remember a movie called Sword in the Stone? It was an animated movie. pretty sure a lot of gen like the previous generations would say the exact same thing so i think we're just being just as bad as the previous generation is i went into this barn and nothing happened Go to that. That. Oh, this was just a rock band. Okay. Got anything here? Nope. Eh. 
personally, I think my favorite time or perfect time of that show was when I was younger. That and Brave. It's also considering I was really big on folklore kind of stuff. I mean, I liked it, but the reason why I liked it was because of the story. Plus, it was a show that me and my family watched, so it's a lot of good memories. Like, I enjoyed it because it kept me entertained. That's the reason why I liked it. Plus, it, w it just brings back a lot of family memories, and it's just really enjoyable to me. Oh, that's not him. That wasn't him. I was wrong. I was really, really wrong. No, 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 Oh, he crashed through. Oh, I just pissed him off too. Lovely. Bye. No. Run. Can't touch me if I'm inside. Jackass. Hello, somebody let me in. What? You dick. Let me just close that door. Let me open this up. Get my heavy weapon. Sign him to a slot. But no, it wasn't definitely it wasn't Pixar-y as more of the fact that it was like its early days when animation was done with where are you at, buddy? Show yourself, coward. I mean, I can't see much. Yeah. Those were the... Oh, wait. I take back what I said.
I mean, at least some of like Pixar movies had its own idea they were trying to make. Like in that aspect, they were trying to do their own thing. And this was before anyone could have a real opinion about movies. And this is also back when Netflix was also shipped to your house. Rather than being on your TV. Face me like a man. Oh no! Yes, wait. Yeah, it's like somewhere in 2011, 2012. Who's in here? Yeah. That's the thing though, when I was little, I was like, oh, I wanna go and watch Ratatouille and everything. Yeah, uh, this is also considering I didn't have Ratatouille back then. And then when we finally got it, it's like, oh my goodness. But like by then I was like, what, 11, 12? But that's also considering you're never too young to watch Disney movies. Original Disney movies, I mean. Yeah, Disney Plus didn't happen until like a few years ago. Where are you coming from, buddy? This man's shooting through the walls. That's cheating. Now, speaking of which... Wait, if I have a distraction plus... Plus a weapon...
I didn't do nothing. Yeah, it's like that one scene from the Lego movie. It's like, are you ready for this? Oh no, they were ready for that. Okay. All right, Dave. See you in the next one, man. Hope to BS with you in the next one. See you in the next one.
I move fast, he won't notice. I feel bad for this guy, he had no chance. Now if only we had these things to shoot those guys down.
Yeah, 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 fuck off for a second. Smuggling control. Excerpt from orders for an operation. We have been contacted by SAPO. SAPO. About a possible smuggling operation taking place in our nearby area. We will send our recon team to Burgakulan to try and intercept the operation while the Navy provides assistance from the sea. Hold guard. A hasty scribbled note reads, To anyone reading this, the military has been base has been overrun by machines. We are gathering at Havisk Rogan by the coast. We hold out for extra extraction. Don't forget about us. No problem, bro. One control. Death from above. Here we go. Tracking device. Lovely. Found the flying out Soviet machines. It appears that you've been sending these just Loading coordinates on the tracking device to sending the data to where? The north coast, okay. Okay, it seems to be I will be doing this in the next live stream. I know I BS'd a lot and did a lot of different stuff and stupid stuff rather than that. And a lot of bouncing around, I will admit that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's gotta be a way in from here. Hmm. Oop, there we go. Oh. Okay. Okay, I'm already done with that mission, and it's spread out to these three missions. Death from above, last stand. And just for those who want to know, I will be doing a... Uh, yes, I realize I'm over and covered. Fuck off.
got him. They scream really loud. got shot in the shoulder. Aha, big brain. Okay, and I think with that, we are going to leave it there. So, for those who watch this video, or no fuck's sake, keep on thinking it's a goddamn video. But for those who watch this live stream, thank you so much for watching. I've... But simply, I hope you guys enjoyed, and as always, have a good morning, good evening, and a good afternoon. Don't forget to check out the Discord if you see this on YouTube. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see future live streams, episodes, and content that I post. So as always, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, besides that, I don't have many other details besides that. Thank you so much for watching.